Wouldn't it be great if you could use ChatGPT directly from Excel? No more jumping between apps. No more copying and pasting between Excel and ChatGPT. Well, you know what? You can, with a little help from a free add-in. And if you stick with me, I'll show you how it's done. If you want to follow along, you can download a copy of the practice file from the link in the description below. The add-in works on both Windows and Mac. And to get it, click the Add-in button on the right-hand side of the Home tab of the ribbon. And this opens the Add-ins panel. Search for ChatGPT. And this is the one you want, ChatGPT for Excel. Click Add next to its name. You can then just close the Let's Get Started form. The company behind this add-in give you 300 AI calls for free. An AI call in this context refers to the request made from Excel via the add-in to ChatGPT. Once you've used all your free credits, if you want to continue using the add-in, you need to sign up to one of their paid plans. By the way, I know that some people are a little bit cautious about downloading add-ins, and that's fair enough. But this one is made by a reputable company and is advertised on appsource.microsoft.com, which is Microsoft's official marketplace for add-ins. Once the add-in is installed, typing an equal sign into a blank cell and typing AI displays a list of eight functions. And in this video, I'm going to focus on AI.fill, AI.ask and AI.extract. Let's start with AI.fill. Here I have a list of chemical elements in column A, and I want to fill column B with the element symbols. For this to work, you need headings and a couple of examples of what you want the add-in to do. I'm going to put my formula into B4, but I've actually copied it and I'm just going to paste it in rather than typing it. The first argument, which is A1 to B3, that is the range containing the headings and the examples. The second argument is the range that contains the items that will be sent to ChatGPT. So the idea is it should recognize what's in A4 to A12 and using the examples in column B in rows two and three, it should know what to fill in down column B. So let's try it. I'll press enter. It may take a few seconds. The function has populated B4 to B12 with the results. Let's now look at AI.ask. Imagine that you're doing some business related research on companies in the pharmaceutical industry. Of course, this could be any industry. I want to know where each of these companies is located, how many employees they have, and what was the revenue in 2024. So I'll put in my formula again, I've copied it to save time. So I would have typed equals AI dot ask and then put in the arguments in the brackets, just like any other function. So I've put in the prompt, which I want to send to ChatGPT in the double quotes, and I want it to then reference the company or the value that's in A2. I'm going to amend that so it displays just the country. So if I edit the formula and then after HQ, put a full stop and say just the country. Let's see what that does. Oh, it has made a difference. And then copy that formula down. My next formula for the headcount in column C is going to be AI.ask. How many employees does the company have? Just the number. Now, we've not quite got the answer we want. We just wanted the 132,200. But I'll leave it as it is. Copy that formula down and see what we get. And the final example here is AI.ask. I need the total revenue for 2024. Just the number unformatted. And I want it to give us that information for the company that's listed in A2. And copy that down. Finally, let's look at an example of AI.extract. 
Here I have a list of names, job titles, email addresses and telephone numbers. And I want to extract the email addresses and put them into column B. So let's see what AI extract can do. Again, I've copied the formula rather than typing it in. I'll press enter. And it's worked for the first one. Copy the formula down. And it looks like it's worked for the rest. And that's it. A look at some of the new AI related functions in Excel. Well, I hope this video helped you. And if it did, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like more Excel tips and tricks, check out my website at theexceltrainer.co.uk. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. But until then, have an excellent day.